doing this would not work. You'd go right through it, right? So where possible, find your leg, go to the middle of it, or if you want to do three steps, start at the top and then the middle and front, and measure along the side here. Just to the depth of that, push the card in. Why? Cut the back of the... Yeah, nicely cut to the back. So when you go in here, <coughs> plop, you get this thing full. Break it out as a unit. Not too bad with this really hard stuff. This is tricky to do in the wind, but I've found a few few ways of getting by. Take it and slide that in underneath there. That helps keep it in. Let it sit up. Drop the weight on. Woo! Anymore. That was very close. Yeah. <laughs> Not high up, wasn't well, it? Because it's about to get <laughs> <laughs> So what's that fat needle reading against there? 35. 35? So that's Sweet. water equivalent. With this unit, add a zero and you'll get kilograms per cubic meter. Right. So what you're reading there is water equivalent, or water in a percentage. So whatever it reads, 35, 35% water. The way this thing has been made, the size tube and all, add a zero, and you get kilograms per cubic meter. So this is pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? You don't have to do any real hard math, and it tells you the um, percentage water.